We actually inhale our own cow's farts. I'm just so region, it hurts. Morning. Today we're scanning the rest of our sheep flop. We're not the rest of it. We were about 60 short because I didn't get them all in one place. But we've got about 200 in one field. So uh, Malcolm's coming in a minute to scan them. And uh, I got a new tripod. Like this. Hope you enjoy the vid. Let's do it. Ah, oh, it's locked. I don't know what I've done with a key. Where do you reckon they are there? Slight issue. This has a little clip on it and it's uh, went missing this morning. Padlocked it on like a good boy driving down the road. Lost the padlock keys. It's got a club card on it. Yeah, it might do. Yes, that's it, that's them. Whose club card's that then? I don't know. I don't even like Tesco. Ooh, that's Ta da! It's like I've been in the coal mines, mate. Sweepy chimneys, Governor. Penny for your thoughts. Tenor says they're gonna be annoying. Look at hot stuff coming. Hot stuff coming in hot. What? Where's my coffee? Oh, I think so. You drove off a bit on the oh, back. No, it's still on the back, I think. It might be. Sugar. Was it on the back? Lucky boy. Oh. Go get the sheep. God, that seatbelt thing does my head in. Mate, have a day off. Literally. Look at that one sitting there. Oh, thank God. Not all our sheep are in one place, so we have to try and bunch groups together to make a big enough number for the scanner to come and scan. We haven't got them all, we're about 60 short, so I think there's about 200 in this group, but we've put them all in one place, got the lorry in the other day, moved them in. They're gonna be here for a few days, we'll scan them, and then we're gonna move them off. Just start moving them back closer to home, because lambing's eight weeks away now. You tell them, Indy. Oh. Gotcha! We're not expecting very much from this scanning. 165 would be perfect. 160 is plenty. Anything over 150 on this scan would be fine. We've got a lot of Romneys. Traditional Romneys, not the New Zealand ones that don't tend to scan very well. A few old blackies and swales and things like that. Not expecting loads. Scanning the Cheviots today. Bought these out of Longtown. Oh, what a sheep. What a shoot. First one scanned to triplet. What a shoot. Oh, look at you. done scan really well again happy days shepherd of the year coming up we scanned 180 they come out 166 percent three empties five lates 65 singles 95 twins and 12 triplets really really good really really happy with them now that scanning's done i'm going to tell you about something that's really cool ready Today we're gonna to talk about soil. Now don't switch off. It is the most important thing on the planet. In one teaspoon of soil, there is more living organisms than people on the planet. There is more living tiny, tiny, tiny things in there than people on this planet. Billions. There's billions of living creatures in this. Microorganisms. Billions. Now I'm standing in a crop of wheat. It is the most grown crop on the planet. I don't actually think that's true. You'll have to go and check that. All right, yeah, I'll check it. What is the most grown crop on the planet. Oh, it's rice. I think I knew that. All right, well, it's the most grown cereal on the planet then. <sighs> I don't think that's true either. What is, oh, it's corn. It's pretty big in Mexico. All right, well, we grow a lot of wheat. This is wheat, it's grown, it's pretty commonly grown. We use it in stuff like bread. This is a crop of volunteer wheat, which means when they combined it and harvest it, you know, the big combine things, the big spinny things on the front, not all the seed got harvested and it got knocked out onto the floor and it, sowed itself and this isn't what the farm wants to grow this year this coming season so what they're going to do now is they're going to come along and they're going to spray a chemical on this and it's just going to absolutely destroy all the plants there it's going to kill them and then they're going to come along and plant the seed they want to grow this year anywho what we've done in the meantime is we've run our lambs across this they've grazed it and then they've just left this behind sheep poo everywhere 
Now there's loads of things going on here. And they're gonna use less spray on this ground now, which is only good for the planet. Horrible chemical, kills everything. So we're reducing the amount they're having to use to kill off this wheat this year. The sheep are adding to the organic matter. They're converting these leaves here into fertilizer. We're also improving the soil health. We're improving the fertility of the soil, which is really, really important because some people reckon that we've only got about 80 years left until our soils are so depleted that we can't actually grow anything, until we all starve. All we've done for years and years and years is just chuck fertilizers onto the soil, chemical fertilizers. But all it's done is damage these guys that are living in the soil. We've just taken and taken and taken and we never put anything back. And we're using livestock as a way to put something back into the soil. We're also converting this, wheatgrass into an animal protein. 25 grams per 100 grams of protein in lamb. Ladies. And we're doing it on land that would otherwise be wasted. Ever since they harvested this in July, it's had nothing on it. It's, it's been used for nothing. It's grown this wheat accidentally. This is a way of growing some protein on it now. We're converting this that would otherwise be used for nothing. This wouldn't help humans live. And we converted it to a protein full of amino acids, which is great for our bodies. It's also kept someone like me in a job, just about hanging on by the skin of our teeth. But more, more importantly, we're improving our soils. We're keeping our soils healthy. We need the livestock to do this. Under my feet right now, there's crazy stuff going on. It's some avatar stuff going down. It will blow your mind. The more you learn about this stuff, the more it blows your mind and you just think, wow. So January is full of going on a plant-based diet but you don't need to you need to understand how beneficial these guys all right they sneeze and they burp and they fart and things like that but look at the benefits we're getting out of them it's good we're having a little bit of pressure on farmers to look after the planet and there's a lot of people that want to look after the soil and want to look after the planet and it's great but don't go so far as believing that if, if you cut animals out of your diet you're going to be saving the planet because you're not there still needs to be a market for these guys you still need to be eating the protein that's produced on this land we have to farm animals to farm our cereals in the future why are you using a chainsaw i'm trying to youtube now i'm not saying everything we do is right and the whole regenerative farming thing has gone a bit like oh i'm actually more regenerative than you are in the morning we run out and we inhale our own cow's farts we're just so regen there's loads of stuff we could do better and if i was in a different position we would be doing it better but i'm just trying to do my bit i'm just trying to show a few people how important our soil is and how important it is to carry on eating a well-balanced diet that includes animals thank you all very much for watching my youtube if you haven't already please don't forget to hit the little subscribe button it doesn't cost you a penny until next time